Mm. Hi there, I'm Mistress Tokyo and this is Working Out the Kinks. On today's episode, I'm going to answer an audience question. Um, and it's quite a serious question, so today's episode is going to take on a serious tone. Um, and the question is, are there some role plays, sexual role plays, that just shouldn't be available? Do they just shouldn't be played out? Um, and on that point, I'd like to issue a trigger warning for today's episode around sexual assault on minors. So um, basically, I had a friend of mine from the Gram uh, write to me and ask me and say, hey, I'm a full service sex worker, and the thing that I get asked to do the most when I'm doing full service, which is sex, just in case you don't know, um, uh, is to get dressed up as a schoolgirl. Now, I don't do this because it doesn't sit with me ethically. I don't provide it. But what I want to know is, can you speak to basically this sort of fantasy? Like, should it happen or not? Um, so basically, uh, my answer to that question is, and this is my professional and private opinion, my answer is no, it should not. Um, most certainly, um, there are a number of things that I don't provide as a professional because I think there are um, there's a massive issue, either morally or ethically, around that sort of role play. Um, and for me, the arguments against doing this sort of thing uh, you know, they're just incontrovertible, inescapable. I mean, basically, they're too big to even question whether you should do this or not. Um, so my answer is no, we shouldn't do it. That can't be the end of today's episode because obviously we're here to unpack that. So, you know, should we do this? Uh, and if we do, what does it say about our society that we actually fetishize and then go and actively act out um, so fantasy sex with people who can't consent, namely, and just for the purposes of today's episode, I'm only going to talk about students, schoolgirls and schoolboys. What does it say about our society, given also the rates of violence against children and women? Um, and for me, if you look at the fantasy of it and the fun and the sexy time and the yay, there is an absolute chasm between that and the actual lived reality of the ruination of people's lives. So you can't actually reconcile that, and hence why I don't play this out. Um, so the arguments that I have heard for playing this out are um, that whatever happened between consenting uh, adults who are practic practi um, um, uh, practicing risk-aware consensual kink is that basically that's their business. The second thing that I've heard is basically that it provides a safe and consensual space for people to actually explore these things without them going out and putting it into, into real life and actually acting it out in reality. I mean, for me, I would counter that argument and say, well, aren't you sort of perpetuating the abuse anyway um, if you actually still fetishise that role play? I mean, like, heck. And for me, could it be that this behaviour is actually scalable? It's actually not providing a space where people don't go off and do it. Is it actually supporting the idea that people can do it in a fantasy space and then, you know, one day in the fantasy and then next year in the reality. Is that behaviour scalable? I honestly don't know the answer to that question. Um, and then the third idea would be, is it people actually working through their trauma? And, I mean, potentially yes, um, but what I would probably say is that maybe those people might be working through trauma, but are they just perpetuating unknown patterns of behaviour? Um, and for me, I mean, isn't therapy for working through your trauma? So I would suggest if you're looking at your own behaviour and you're thinking that maybe you are doing this sort of thing in repetition as opposed to in um, active healing, then maybe go and find a therapist and go and talk to them about these things. There's an added ethical quandary on top of all of this as well, is that what happens if the person who is receiving the activities um, namely the student, schoolboy or schoolgirl, what if they actually are the one who tries to set up the scene and the person who is the adult and, you know, always ostensibly set as the perpetrator, um, the controller of the scene, what happens if they are put in an ethical situation where they have to make a choice about doing this or not? Um, you know, certainly what I would suggest is that you look at the sort of stereotypes and tropes and roles and fantasies 
that your the, the sort of fantasy role figures that you're fetishizing in your role plays, and you, t- and you basically take them from your fantasy, drop them into your reality, and see if your personal ethics still hold. And if they don't, then you need to look at your behavior. Because when you're playing with shadow, you need to step into the light and claim the fact that you're working with shadow and claim those things of shadow. And if you don't do that with awareness um, and emotional intelligence, then you're really risking your own integrity and you must look at that behavior. I would like to say that if there's anything that I've said today um, that has uh, caused you to have a feeling uh, that you need to have support around, please call Lifeline on 13 11 14. I don't work for Lifeline. I've never worked for Lifeline. I work for you, the viewer at home, and your further understanding of sexuality, BDSM, fantasy and fetish. So... Um, Please resource yourself if you're having a feeling. Have you got a burning question here for me at Working Out the Kinks? Interact with me on the Facebook page and I will absolutely do my darndest to answer your question in a future episode. I'm Mistress Tokyo and this has been Working Out the Kinks.